The Java programming language. Invented over two decades ago, but still the language of choice for enterprise software developers worldwide. Java is a juggernaut. If you're looking at the tech stack of a very large company, there is a good chance you'll find a significant part of it written in Java. Companies like Amazon, Google, Netflix, YouTube, Twitter, Airbnb, Uber, eBay, and Spotify use a lot of Java. Even LinkedIn, which is a Microsoft company, has most of their stack in Java. Even Facebook, whose engineering team is notorious for using PHP, even they have part of their backend stack in Java. But it's not just tech companies. Much of the Fortune 500 uses Java for their internal systems. Java is used to build the custom IT infrastructure that the world's largest companies run on. This is particularly true in the banking sector, where Java dominates as the language of choice. If you're interested in working as a programmer in an enterprise-level company, learning Java is a good idea. This is why Java is taught at colleges like Harvard, UC Berkeley, Stanford, MIT, Caltech, and Princeton. Those schools are trying to prepare their students to work at the biggest and best companies in the world. If you're already a computer science student at one of those colleges, you'll probably be learning Java soon. If you're not a student there, don't worry. We created an online Java course just for you. Introducing The Fundamentals of Java, a new self-paced online course from purple.com. This is a beginner level programming course that will teach you what the Java programming language is and how to use it. This course consists of 60 video lectures, 11 homework assignments, two large projects, and a final exam. By the time you finish this course, you'll be comfortable writing Java code from scratch and will be ready to start building projects of your own. In this video, I'm going to tell you how the course is laid out, what it's like to take the class, and what prerequisites you need to meet before you enroll. Section 1 of the course is all about setting up your workstation. Java is a professional tool, and you need to install specialized programs to work with it, as it's unlikely that your personal laptop came with those things installed. In Section 1, we're going to walk you through downloading and installing the Java JDK, which is software that lets you compile and run a Java program, and the NetBeans IDE. That's the integrated development environment that you'll use to write and debug your code. You'll then spend a little time doing what's called a Hello World assignment to get your feet wet. Then we're on to much harder topics. Section 2 is all about data types. You'll learn about integers, floating point numbers, characters, strings, and more. These kinds of variables are the building blocks of any program, and it's important for you to understand how Java thinks about characters and numbers, how it stores them, and the different ways they're used. In Section 3, we introduce the concept of control flow. A program is more than just variables that hold values. Programs are like large, complex, logical arguments. And these trains of logic are constructed using logical operators and control flow artifacts like if statements, switch statements, for loops, and while loops. You'll learn all that here. In section 4, we introduce the basic data structures that you need to know. Basic arrays, multidimensional arrays, array lists, and maps. You'll use these structures to hold complex data that isn't suitable for the plain data types you learned before. Section 5 takes us into the world of functions. Functions are reusable pieces of code that perform a very specific task or compute an output for a given set of inputs. For example, you could have a function that multiplies everything by 5. So you send that function 2 and you get back 10. Send it negative 3 and you get back negative 15. Programmers need to be very good at encapsulating their program logic into small, single-purpose, reusable functions, and you'll learn how to do that in this section. Next, in sections 6 and 7, we're on to Object-Oriented Programming, or OOP. Section 6 teaches you the basics of classes, objects, and constructors. Section 7 goes more advanced into inheritance and abstract classes. Object-oriented programming is the most popular way to use Java to build large systems. You'll learn all about what OOP is and how to build object-oriented applications in these sections. In section 8, we take a look at some of the classes and libraries that come packaged with the language. These extra packages provide a ton of useful functionality that you'll end up using constantly as you write Java code. 
For example, you'll learn all about the date and time class, which is a series of helpers that allow your code to make sense out of dates and timestamps and manipulate them. In this section, we'll go into this class and several others to give you a taste of some of the things that the Java class libraries are capable of. Section 9 brings us to I.O., which stands for Input and Output. At this point in the course, the programs you'll have written will be wholly self-contained. They won't have interacted with anything else on your computer. That changes here. You'll learn how to read files, how to write files, and how to serialize classes. In Section 10, you'll learn how to make your programs usable and useful for regular human beings by adding GUIs to them. GUIs are graphical user interfaces. GUIs are the screens and buttons and forms and graphics that make up what an end user sees and experiences. So far in the course, you've only been worried about the business logic of the application, but now you'll learn how to put a face on your program so that lay people can actually use it. And that rounds out the course. After those 10 sections, you'll know everything you need to know about getting up and running with Java. But we're not stopping there. We've gone ahead and added a bonus section to this course that is all about working with XML. XML is a structured data format that is quite popular in the enterprise and still used widely for SOAP-based web services and other applications. In this bonus section, section 11, we'll show you how to read XML, how to write XML, and how to parse it to understand what the structured data says and means. So, how is this course structured? Like all of the classes at purple.com, this is a self-paced online course, meaning there are no deadlines. You can go as fast or as slowly as you want but there are quite a few homework assignments and projects you'll need to complete and submit as you go. You'll watch video lectures, work on homeworks and projects, and, if you like, participate in group discussions and coding challenges in our student forum. When you complete the course and pass all the homeworks and projects in the final exam, you'll earn a digital certificate with your name on it that is unique and blockchain verified. You can share it on LinkedIn, print it out, or link to its public URL on your resume. But more importantly, when you complete this course, you'll be ready to start using Java at your place of business or for your own projects. Whether you're interested in building desktop applications, mobile Android apps, or banking software, you'll be able to use the skills you learn in this class to get those projects done. So what are the course prerequisites? This is a beginner level course, which means you don't need any programming experience at all. But you must have access to a full-size laptop or desktop with a modern browser and a fast internet connection. And you must have administrator privileges on that machine so you can install software like the NetBeans IDE and the Java JDK on your workstation. This is not the kind of class you can take or pass on your phone. You need a real development machine. If you want to watch sample videos from the course, you can do so on the course landing page. And that's where you can also read the details of the course syllabus and more. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us anytime. If you're not already on our site right now, just visit purple.com then click on Our Courses, and then you can click on the course you're interested in, get all the details, and enroll from there. Looking forward to seeing you in the course. Welcome, and congratulations on jumping into the world of Java, the lingua franca of enterprise software.